it's been a while. I have not felt like myself lately. But per usual, how are you doing? I hope well. I hope a lot better than I've been feeling. So yeah, I usually... <coughs> <laughs> I'm usually doing mental health Mondays and I am quirky, upbeat. I'm in my bed right now. Got my scarf on. Look a hot mess. <laughs> Guess what? I don't really care right now because it's just been, it's been a lot. September and October with my whole ass. <laughs> if I'm being honest, it it did it with my whole ass. I had to do a whole lot of like reevaluating and um being honest with myself, being raw with myself, being um no longer like harboring feelings like it's a lot that I just need to let go. And I'm trying, you know, progress, but oh my gosh, that progress kicks your whole ass. <laughs> so if anybody else is feeling like this, know that you are not alone. Um, and I think you guys know by now, I just don't, I don't like getting on camera and like throwing this at people, but you know, I was told recently by my sister, shout out to her, Brooke Davis. <laughs> I was told, you know, you don't always have to get on camera and be quirky and cute and all of that other stuff. Get on camera. You just be you. Someone will appreciate it. And I am. I am on camera right now in my scarf with my edges hanging out. <laughs> and I'm just going to chat. I'm just gonna talk it's just and it might be it might be me rambling but bear with me it's just me just saying stuff that's coming to my brain as I'm talking and I just have to learn how to navigate handle my stress better I have to uh learn how to stop dwelling on stuff and making myself feel worse for situations like you know it happened you can't change it you know all of that um i have to learn how to stop trying to people please because that ain't my job it's not and it does nothing but bring more stress to me it does nothing but exhaust me more so i usually do this every year I put myself in a bubble once I feel like my um social media has run over I put myself in a bubble and I stay there and I recharge I decide if I want to pop back out and do things or if I want to stay in my bubble most people understand that to some people it doesn't really sit right with them but it's just it's something that I have to do especially because October is a very hard month for me you know if you don't know, October is a heavy month for me. I lost four people in my life. All men. Two cousins, my uncle, and a childhood friend. All in the month of October. Different years, but all in the month of October. And I am just always a wreck when October comes. And I literally, from October 1st to October 31st, I go on autopilot, I try to distract myself, I crash, and I burn. That's how it works for me every year. And I'm trying to find ways to counter that. The only reasons why I like even uh, try and keep myself semi-social is because, you know, my best friend's birthday is in October. And Halloween is in October, so, you know, my kids, they make me excited for Halloween. Like, you know, this year... It was going to be hard for me with Halloween, but I said, no, I'm going to figure out Halloween. Like literally my son, I didn't get his costume till the day before Halloween. And that's because the costume that I wanted to get him would not have come until after Halloween. That would have defeated the whole purpose. <laughs> so I had to run to a little last minute store 
and get him his costume but I'm, I'm glad he liked his costume um my daughter stole the show per usual and I was like you know what next year and this is a promise to myself next year I'm having a Halloween party and me and my kids are gonna show up and show out to said Halloween party and I don't care who comes or who doesn't come because it ain't about them that's how I feel and I think that's gonna be my attitude in general with a lot of things I just I'm just exhausted and a lot of it has to do with my anxiety a lot of it has to do with um me bringing more stress to myself than what I need like I just I overthink a lot and I overthink a lot because of anxiety you know like I I always try to prepare myself for the worst so that the shock of the worst happening won't be as bad as it would be if I wasn't prepared and I think that's kind of my issue and I really need to stop I am working on it I promise you I am but it's Rome wasn't built in a day and with every day I'm learning I'm growing and I'm trying so you know and if people can't see that then you know F them my journey is my own so it just you know it is what it is um one thing I will say I did I took a break from Facebook because I needed it like Facebook is starting to drain me and I'm actually starting to enjoy Instagram more so I think I'll be on I'll be on Facebook but I don't know if I'll be as active I don't know it's just it 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 is draining. Facebook is starting to become draining to me. It's not even fun anymore. Like I literally stay on to keep in contact with my family members. But other than that, it's so draining. Um Instagram is I'm really starting to have more fun with Instagram. So I think I might channel like put my energy more towards that and TikTok and um I was posting stuff for my kids for Halloween and everything. Like I need to start doing that but yeah that's pretty much why i mean i deactivated my page um for like a week or so when my week is up i'll see how i feel but yeah i think facebook is gonna get you know minimal time for me but i'll spread my energy to like instagram and um probably get back into twitter oh my gosh there's a bump here Oh my, these blemishes. Oh, <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. And then I have moles all on my face too. Well, that's genetic. But these blemishes, no honey. But yeah, <laughs> I look a hot mess. And I don't really care because this is what I plan on doing all day. Just sit here, reflect, relax, chill knock out some homework assignments um maybe play a little bit of switch i don't know but i hadn't done a mental health monday in so long and it's now november hello november um and like hopefully <clears throat> this month brings many blessings many lessons um just yeah i'm just hoping for a better month for a better mindset for myself personally not really for anybody else but yeah I just I need to be kinder to myself I'm not and I have to as much as I say it it's okay not to be okay I have to really feel it you know it's okay not to be okay and I've been telling myself these things but it's just you know it's a process. But yeah, I'm not going to be on here long. I just wanted to jump on, chat a little bit, show my face. And yeah, <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.